welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I have such an exciting video. You guys have no idea how excited I am. See, I can't even talk because of how excited I am. I recently got an email from Aritzia this morning saying that their clientele sale is happening beginning tomorrow. I'll put a screenshot here of the email that I received because I don't know if that same email goes out to everyone. I believe it just kind of depends on your tier or if you spend X amount of money at Aritzia throughout the year. This is the email that I got. I believe I qualified for 20% off of most brands within Aritzia. So I'm really stoked about it. It's better than nothing because Aritzia is so expensive. I always know to hold off on certain items until the summertime because I think their summer sale is actually bigger than their holiday sale. So I always always wait to purchase big ticket items during this season. I went ahead and perused, peroused through my closet and picked out my top, top recommendations for the Aritzia sale, what I think is worth your money and especially even more worth it with the discount. These are my personal closet staples. I have so many great basics and essentials that I literally build all of my outfits off of, which is really important to me. I love pieces that I can rewear, that has low cost per wear, and I can say strongly about all of these items that I wear them over and over and over again. They are basically a part of my outfit equation. At the end of this video, if you guys are curious of what I am planning on purchasing and adding to my closet from this sale, I'll go ahead and do that portion at the end. I think I have like 16 things in my cart so far, so I'm a little worried about my wallet situation. <laughs> I feel like I have a really good mix in this recommendations video. I have a couple tops, a bunch of bottoms because I love spending my money on bottoms, you guys. Just a good variety in this video. This is not in any particular order, by the way. I did try to group them into different categories. Like I have the tops together and then bottoms together, jackets together, stuff like that. Also keep in mind, these are just a few of my best loved Aritzia pieces. I tried to keep it as condensed as possible because I didn't want this video to be like an hour long. First things first, let me go through this really cute basic. It is called the tiny tank, I believe. I am obsessed with this type of tank. It's a really mini crop top. It is perfect for the summer months because it is pretty minimal. I usually wear sticky bras underneath tanks like this. I am obsessed with this silhouette. I think it's super minimal and classic and just so simple that you can build an outfit off of super super easily with this the straps are really really micro like it's so thin it's i love it i think it's a vibe these are some of my most worn tanks in the summer because it keeps me very cool and i love wearing this with a high-waisted short or any high-waisted item i think this goes well with it super nicely this color also is just so pretty i own this tank in i believe three or four different colors now they all pretty much fit true to size I got this in an extra small and oh by the way all my measurements sizes colors and everything that I can find links to everything will be in the description below one of the most softest fabrics I've ever felt honestly it is so so nice I would highly recommend this one especially for this time of the year it's not an Aritzia video unless we talk about the sculpt knits right I feel like Aritzia sculpt knits are one of their best sellers to be honest I think it is super popular for good reason the fabric is really thick and substantial it's very durable these last forever I feel like the fabric is just super thick and it has really good weight and this comes in a multitude of colors styles lengths all that good stuff in dresses oh my gosh I have a sculpt knit dress in my cart right now that I'm probably going to buy I have a ton of these types of sculpt knit tops from Aritzia with different silhouettes and styles. I have the one that goes crisscross across the neck. I have one that is a one shoulder top. I love all of them. I just decided to show you this one because it's the most basic cutout in my opinion and it is definitely one that I would recommend to you if you don't have any sculpt knit so far. I feel like this is the most like classic. Very very nice. Love the quality of this. I feel like Aritzia has some of my favorite t-shirts and just tops and baby tees 
This is a top from Wolford Free. This is actually the same top on me in just a different color. And okay, can we talk about this rich brown color? It's like a coppery chestnut brown. I don't know. It's so, so me. I'm so into browns right now. You guys already know. But I have this in a gray and a black and a white. So I own this in multiple colors that is the trend if i like something i will buy it in multiple colors like i will not even hesitate so i love this so much it is a ribbed soft material it's not super thick where it'll make you feel hot but it's not thin either so it is a very high quality top i have washed this so many times and it always comes out looking brand new i just love how flexible this is and it is a perfect kind of waist length top not super cropped but not super long either it hits me right above my belly button it meets my high-waisted items right in the middle so it's so nice to just wear all of my high-waisted things with if i just want something very simple these t-shirts are my go-to's when i don't know what to wear definitely a capsule wardrobe piece in my opinion so highly recommend checking this one out i do have some other shirts that i am obsessed with from aritzia but i will say those three tops are my ultimate you know go-to's for me at the moment. Let's move on to bottoms. I have a skirt. It is their satin slip skirt. They have so many different lengths and colors of this as well. I think this is the midi. They also have a mini and a maxi. I have the, I think I have all three, but the midi is my go-to for sure because I just like where it hits on me. It's like right in between my knees and my ankles. So I love where it falls and this is just such a gorgeous piece. I love this color as well. It is the perfect neutral and look at that shine. You know, sometimes satin skirts and satin material in general, I feel like they can come across as cheap because you know, of the shine. If it just, I don't know, if it catches the light in a weird way, it doesn't look very high quality, but this, it just is so elegant. It looks expensive, you know? I mean, it is kind of expensive, <laughs> not gonna lie. But for it being non-silk, this just looks very silky. I wear this all throughout the summer, and you can also kind of bring this into the fall as well if you want to uh, put a cardigan on and a sweater, tuck it into the skirt, put some booties. It's just very versatile. I love these slip skirts. It's one of my favorite things from Aritzia. One pair of shorts. I have this one. I believe it's called the pleated short. This I have in multiple colors as well. I have them in three different colors. A white or like a cream, a black, and then this taupey color. My typical size is a zero, but I did size up to a two in these shorts because I do feel that they run slightly snug on me if I go for my typical size. I just think this with like loafers or flats or sneakers you can wear high heels with them you can just do so much with a pleated short so i love this so much and this is in their famous like crepe material which is very comfortable very breezy super high quality everything from aritzia i just feel like the quality is just amazing so i don't feel as bad spending my money there because i know their pieces are just going to last forever <laughs> the pant category is my weakness I have three to show you because I just could not tear it down even more. But the first one is the pleated pant. You guys can kind of see the trend. I love my pleated things. I just feel like it never goes out of style and you can dress it down or dress it up. I love dressing down pleated pants with some chunky sneakers and a really like cute tank top or something. These just are the best. They fit me perfectly. It is in a size zero, which is my typical size. I get these pleated pants in a short version instead of their regular or tall because I am only five feet three. So I'm on the more petite side. So I have to get their short version, which fits me perfectly with some chunky sneakers. If I find a color that doesn't come in a short version, I'll just get the regular and get them hemmed. It's not a big deal. I would totally do that it's so worth the money to me to get things tailored to fit me especially if i like the color and it's not available already in a short i do wish that they would make everything available in a short and a tall and a regular like all t you know parallel to each other but unfortunately they don't i think they only do that for certain popular colors i own this in two other colors i have a black and a brown and this one is like their not matte pearl i think it's like birch or something like that you guys guessed it 
effortless pants. <laughs> Although these are the cropped version, which I feel like not a lot of people talk about. I really like the cropped version because it is perfect for the summer. The effortless line also comes in a short version, I believe. And then this is a cropped and then the regular, which is obviously longer. In a crop, it kind of goes almost down to my ankles, not quite. So it does still look a little cropped on me. And I really like that. It, it falls like ankle length on me because I'm short. <laughs> but I love that about it. It just looks a little bit more breezier. Same as the pleated pants. These can be dressed up or down as you please. And I just think these are super easy to style, which is a huge plus. It's also not an Aritzia video if you don't talk about the Molina pants, <laughs> right? I have these in three different colors. I have a black, a cream, and then this tan color. No, I think I have four. <laughs> oh my god. I have a problem, obviously. I was debating on showing either this one or the command pant, but I decided ultimately I wear the Molina pants more because of the style. At some point, I am thinking of getting them altered to fit my waist a little bit better, but because this is a faux leather material, I just don't know how that would work. I've never gotten any of my faux leather things altered before. So let me know in the comments if you have and it wasn't a problem or anything. I just don't want them to ruin it, you know, because the fabric is different. Anyway, I am going off course, <laughs> but these are amazing. These also come in a thousand different colors and different lengths as well. This one is, I believe, the short version of their regular pant length. So I love it. It fits me really, really well. They do retain a lot of heat though, so maybe not so great for the summer. I did wear this to Boston and I was sweating. Like it, I was sticky, sweating, and yeah, definitely not very good in the sunny season, but this is great for spring and fall. This is much more of an appropriate summer item and it is their Defeat. Divinity romper, I believe. Isn't she adorable? Look how cute she is. I love it. I want more rompers from Aritzia. I love rompers in black because I think it shapes you so well and makes your body look so good, snatches you. I love wearing this with my Air Force Ones and then a white button up shirt as like a cover up. I think it's maybe like a tad bit snug on me, but I don't think I would size up in it either because then it would just not look the best and the straps might be a little too long. That's the only thing that I will say about this. It does not have adjustable straps and I feel like they should. I think all rompers should because of the torso struggles, man. I have a long torso. I, well, I have a torso that's on the longer side, right? So bodysuits and rompers can sometimes be challenging for me, but this one does fit me relatively well. I cannot say the same thing about Aritzia bodysuits. I have to size up in those to a small, but then everywhere else it's a little bit big if it fits my torso. So I just don't buy any of the Aritzia bodysuits anymore. Aritzia killed it with this romper. I want to try some of their other ones as well. I know it is not weather appropriate to show a cardigan or anything knit of that matter, but I had to because this is one of my most beloved cardigans. This is the perfect silhouette. If you like cropped boxy cardigans that you can also wear as a top, this is the way to go. It just looks so good. I have this in a white color as well because I love it so much. Oh my goodness, we are in the home stretch. I only have two jackets to show you and then two different accessories or miscellaneous things from Aritzia. Okay, you know I said it, I love faux leather pieces from Aritzia. This is one of my newer pieces in my collection, and I have worn this so much already that it's definitely worth my money. <laughs> I believe I got this on sale, actually. This is so, so good. I would honestly buy this full price because it is so good. In the spring and fall, I wear this a lot. Definitely not in the summer. You will die of a heat stroke, but <laughs> I still wanted to show you guys this because I don't know, during the sale, I buy non-summer items too because I feel like winter clothing is usually marked down more in the summer, obviously, because not everyone's buying it. So I do like to buy certain things during the summer, even if it's not a summer piece. And this is definitely something that I would recommend you pick up. This is the last jacket and it's another faux leather piece, you guys. It is a black faux leather jacket. This is definitely more of like a classic mode. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's a little heavy. <laughs> like I was saying, it's more of a classic moto jacket 
style and silhouette. I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't had a lot of opportunities to wear this out yet because I did buy this at the very tail end of spring. So it was a little too hot when I bought this, but it was on sale, like massive sale, and I had to snatch it up, and I hope it's still on their website now. It's such a classic, timeless piece. I love the fit of this too because it's not too bulky, but not fitted at all. It just is the perfect balance between the two. So, ugh, obsessed with this one. We are now in the accessories category, and you guys know I was going to mention their essential belts. I have them in two different colors, a black and a cinnamon brown. It has the antique gold hardware. I mean, it's an essential. <laughs> they just complete my outfit. I think belts really have a way of putting outfits together, completing them, making them feel a little bit more polished and intentional. And I love when my belt like matches my shoes or my bags. So yeah, I love these two, highly recommended. I get them in a size extra small. I can wear them with high-waisted things. I can also wear them with low-waisted things. Not that I wear a lot of low-waisted things anymore, but if I wanted to, I could. So love these. Cannot recommend these enough. Last but not least, and this might be the most boring of them all, but the most essential, <laughs> socks. <laughs> if you guys have not tried the TNA socks, you have to try it. Just try it and you'll be converted. I have two different lengths. This is like the longer crew length ones. And then I have the ankle length ones. I want to buy more of the ankle length ones because as much as I like the longer sock look, I don't wear them all the time. And they do feel a little bit tight around my ankle sometimes. So I do like having a shorter length one that's just at the ankle. So I think I might pick up some more during the sale. Check out these socks. The difference is real. It is thicker, higher quality, and washes really nicely. It also doesn't give you blisters if you wear shoes that might be a little bit uncomfortable or still needs to be broken in some. These are the best. They really protect your feet and I love it. It's so good. Isn't it funny that I haven't showcased any blazers? It's actually not that funny because <laughs> I only own one style of blazer from Aritzia and it's quite frankly not my favorite. I have the new agency blazer in black and the golden gold camel color and I'm not showing it in this video because it's just not my favorite. I am going to be picking up some new blazers during the sale so that I can try some new styles but the new agency blazers I have it in an extra small and it just looks really big on me so I can only wear it in certain occasions and certain ways for it to make it look good and not drowning my entire body. Just wanted to give that sneak peek, I don't know, insight for that because I know a lot of these videos include Aritzia blazers, but I'm excited to try their other blazers during this sale. Okay, I think I might have to end this video here and make a part two of just the things that are in my cart and that I'm going to buy. I'll just split it into two videos to make it easy and give you guys something to look forward to. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how many items are currently in your cart in Aritzia if you guys are shopping from the sale. I know I'm gonna cause some damage to my wallet during the sale. <laughs> But at least I can make a video for you guys. Once everything is in, I will make sure to film another try on haul and review video for you guys of all the new pieces. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.